I finally got a chance to see Number Afraid 2. And I got some news to tell you. People are saying it is not as good as the first one, but this is just my review. I I liked this film uh, quite a lot, and I felt like it was an equal to the first one as well. Because I felt like its standards high was up to the same level. Same level as the first one. But anyway, this film's comeback. I loved it. I really had a good time watching this in the UK. If any of you had, let's see, oh, what were the improvements? Oh, cinematography was even even a bit of an inch of a top notch. Oh, more detail of characters. Detail of char characters. Oh, even bit bit of including our our three most favorite icons, our heroes. Those are uh, their performance. Oh, Javid Shake, the old man. Oh, his character always top notch. I love it so much. It's so good to see your favorite characters again in the next film. I hope one day they do a trilogy. But out of my perspectives, I noticed from Bollywood films, and I believe it's also the same in Pakistani films. I you can never know, but. They always tend to, most film studios tend to avoid sequels most of the time, just in my eyes. Because most of them always believe in not doing sequels because maybe it's harder, maybe they don't believe in them. But then they did start, they are managing to now making sequels because it's popular. It's popular and it's also a good gamble to risk since uh, Hollywood always mostly as successful their sequels and let's see uh, I noticed there was a lot of sponsors so I'm like uh, okay a good choice they they had the, the story is based the story is mostly about these characters they go and go to South Africa to visit a friend's marriage marriage I'm not gonna tell you any spoilers I've only told you a small bit of a biscuit okay don't worry there's still plenty of a nice big crusty Nice flake of a big loaf of bread that's still good enough. Only told you a, a bit of a biscuit of the crumb. Okay. Uh. Yeah. It's yeah. The it's a bit of a beginning. Shows the characters move, moving out from. Well, actually, no, they're mo not moving out. They're visiting, so they decide to leave Karachi for a couple of days to visit. Uh. To visit South Africa because their friend is there. As they go to South Africa. South Africa. Yeah, from my eyes, I'm like, oh, South Africa. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, I want to visit there. It looks really nice. Let's see. The sponsors there, like... Like, I've never seen so many sponsors in my life. Like, let's see, McDonald's. Uh, of course, you have McDonald's. McDonald's. My perspective, I'm no McDonald's fan. I don't like eating McDonald's. Oh, so showing characters eating McDonald's. They were showing characters eating McDonald's and like... For my perspectives, I don't appreciate McDonald's. I only appreciate their ice cream there because I like their ice cream there. So I would only go to McDonald's to have their ice cream there because I'm not really a fan of their savory. Yeah, showing characters uh, going to having lunch at McDonald's as they're talking about their life. Or next they're showing them having chai, but that logo of the chai. Chai. But then this one I was a bit confused. It looked like a beer bottle, but then I noticed it can't be a beer bottle because then I noticed what they're drinking. It's like, uh, yeah, it's the, yes, the liquid was crystal. So I'm like, what is this? Uh, some kind of, like, I don't know, South African Sprite or something? So I'm like, okay, these are sponsors. They are just part of the film. I'm like, oh, that's another logo. Oh, that's another logo in the background. Oh, they're using a product as they're as they're using. I'm like, okay, like fair enough. Sponsors, like everyone gets their fair share. Like, peep, let's see, businessmen. They want them to show fair iconic characters. Like, oh, oh, he's using it. Oh, that looks good to use. Like, yeah, sure, fair enough. Like, usually, yeah, I get. I get deceived or I get tempted when I see something nice. 
nice when I'm noticing something. So I'm like, uh, what's the what's the problem then? Like, so let be sponsors. But other people criticize sponsors, but I say it's not a problem because everyone's getting 50-50, like, something. You get something, I get something. Like, get, okay, I'm a consumer. I notice all this, like, it, something got my interest, so I might check it out if I see it. Characters, like, yes, lovely, lovely, like, that interesting sense of humor. You get, they show more stuff, like, towards, oh, oh, his wife showing all, like, oh, she's, like, oh, like, oh, she's interesting, she's amusing, oh, she's cute and all that. that then they show another cute love interest of another character, and I'm like, oh, she's cute too and all. Oh, no, oh, she's tough and all that. So I'm like, yeah, but I feel like I really, really like Javits Shake. I just find him so amusing, his character. So yeah, a bit more a boost, a bit more of a boost to make you like the characters more in the story. Let's see, villains. Ooh, oh, that was fun. <clears throat> I always forget his name. Uh, this guy. This guy is a Pakistani film veteran, and he's great in doing negative characters. But him playing as the an Arab aristocrat of an Arabian aristocrat visiting South Africa, but bringing his the golden toilet, which that is about the story, is about this million millions and millions of dollar dollar worth of a golden toilet of this man sits on. And that's one of the, the iconic words in it. If people are starving and dying, of course, and this man is sitting, shitting on gold. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Uh, there was a bit of, like, one, there was a bit of immature content, but not like lots, not like lots of it, or it was dirty or nothing like that. There was no dirty, but since it's in South Africa, because South Africa's more Western country. They're showing like you know one of the musical scenes. Yeah, they were showing the three characters celebrating again, celebrating again. But they were on the beach, like all oh, this running around the beach. But then since it turns to the musical, next they're dancing with like oh lovely fits South African women in bikini, or some of them just in uh, swimming trunks or swimming gear and all that. Others are eye catching. Others are. Not, but then they're showing them dancing, dancing in the background and all that, and it's just like, yeah, the songs, the songs were good in it, but it's not, then it's not as, like, oh, the, oh, but I feel, yeah, it's just not as gr gr great, it's not as the, mo it's not as better as the first songs, because I feel like I love this first songs more than the first one, number like Alfred 1. Uh, story plot wise, it's really hard to say which one's better, Number Light Alfred 1 or Number Light Alfred 2. So I feel like equal wise, they're both of the stories are equal in wise. Climax Well, this is just my perspective. If you noticed from if you're from Pakistan, Canada, America, Australia, New Zealand or America if I said that already. Me from the UK, I was watching it and the climax was there. They cut out the violent scenes, like the shootout scenes between two gangsters, and I'm like, WHY?! WHY?! I did not pay, pay to see some scenes to be cut out! Come on, I want to see some shootout scenes! This movie is about crime! Okay, the story, the story, it does have drama, it does have comedy, but since this movie is going to be based around crime, I'm like, it will be a thriller genre with comedy and with crime and this what I wanted to see but no they cut out and I'm like what what happened why did they cut that out I'm like what I really didn't like them cutting it out let's see second villains were good especially him I maybe I said it before but his acting play as an Arab aristocrat and out of I noticed no, it's from Bollywood to uh, 
like Bollywood always stereotypes to make o over exaggerate society society and I noticed but this was only just one Arabic character Arabic character a let's see a self-righteous arrogant bad bad womanizer that has so much money that he can get any girl he wants any girl he wants is just a really arrogant man that should do better in his life like give money in people in need instead of making a bloody toilet out of gold but there's more to in the story about his inner thing since uh, well it's not that much to say really like he likes also doing smuggling and I I see, I think he's an Arabian prince, but you call that an Arabian prince? Look how old he is! Let's see, what else we got here? Uh, yes, uh, yes, other two more villains here. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's. Let's see. Oh, cool. Cool, an Indian, an Indian smuggler and a Pakistani smuggler. Two partners working together that like doing smuggling across the Indian Ocean in Africa and in places in Middle East. And I'm like, okay, interesting. I'm like, okay, that shows you that we both were. No, oh, that no, no, that just shows you like that that Indian Pakistanis can get along with each other long if as long as there's money in it. But also because let's see, their cultures the same. There they can speak the same tongue. I'm like, oh, so that shows you then. So I like that they're showing Indian and Pakistani villain together where they're both smugglers both smugglers and then one thing I just like about it, it shows you like they both work together they both have the same goal make a lot of money uh, that's all to say really like the story was really really good I really like the story story really like it's the same not the same really like the first one's brilliant just they start off from poor then it shows them the sequel why it just makes you think why they want to commit another crime now in the second one and I'm not gonna tell you spoilers why but I just feel like life sucks anyway I'm I don't appreciate that people are not noticing and they're saying just stuff yes there's some Yes, there's a bit of immatureness, like, okay, there's Western stuff. <laughs> there's Western stuff, but they're in South Africa. I also would appreciate they shot it more in Pakistan, but I guess because the story was written in South Africa, so it was mostly always was going to be shown in South Africa. And let's see, and I hope enough... Uh, Indian consumers check this out because this is a really worthwhile for crime comedy thriller Okay, but since dude, I would give this movie almost an 8 out of 10 like the first one But I didn't like I absolutely Didn't like the cutout scenes of the climax of the shootout That was only problem the climax where there's gonna be a shootout I paid money and I wanted to see a climax of the shootout I give this movie a 7 out of 10, I might give this an 8 out of 10 when I finally see it where they should not be cut out of that shootout scene. Cause I remember, it's a crime thriller comedy and I wanted to see, see two gangsters colliding with each other having a shootout. Because I want to see Pakistan's hard work, I want to see how the shootout choreograph worked. I wanted to see, I only saw the trailer, look these are the trailer bits. Like, oh, it looks a bit bloody there, but it must be, I don't know, maybe they just don't accept it, but I don't care, because, let's see, me as a British consumer, I wanted to see it, because I paid money, like, and I feel like they took some of that away from me. Okay, I don't accept that kind of bullcrap. Overall, this movie's worth a watch. Okay, you will be disappointed with the cutout scene in the climax, climax, but it's not going to completely ruin the film for you. It's not ever going to completely ruin the film for you. You will still see enough 
a knife of the climax, but remember that scene of the shootout is being removed. Maybe because oh, you'll see lots of people dying. I don't care. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, 7 out of 10. Not my effort to go and see it. P.S. This director, I feel like he's the best in Pakistan. He made three brilliant films with brilliant writing in it. Hey, great, great stories. I don't know how this guy's doing it. Maybe he's just reading newspapers based in Pakistan and what's happening and all that. Ah, oh, man. This man is a pro. He should receive another reward. But I think it's going to be a problem since that uh, Punjabi romance comedy will be there and it's making a lot of money. So I'm like... I don't know, maybe Nummelin Afra 2 might be best film of the year. Maybe second, maybe just second best film of the year or something. Or will he be considered a second best film director of the year? I don't know, but oh my god, I love three of his movies he did. Oh my god, Actor in Law. That was so amazing. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, and don't forget these guys, and especially. Now, two of these guys, they did a great job. I feel like... I feel like uh, they were... No, they did good acting. Crafty, sneaky, brutality when they need to do it. But I feel like the best villain was... <laughs> let's see, the Arabian Prince. I feel like... Let's see, he expressed more character, showed he was spoiled, showed you he was selfish. He thinks he was the most important man on this country, on this planet. Planet and I think also because well, how I make people relate to it because well, I should not say this but I believe this is how most people see upper class uh, uh, ar Arab aristocrats well, I, I should not say that but lots of movies stereotype someone well, yeah, so I'm like but anyway this film was really hilarious I recommend you watching it and these and it was a really boost to make you like the characters more free each of these characters just to admire them like the situation in how they react to it at how they solve the problem how they face it you're just there with that journey and seeing what they go through that's what's so brilliant wow that was so that was so that what was so awesome about the first movie and the second one is just pulling it over here and like making them carry on where they have to face this kind of situation again Okay, uh. See ya.